yeah! <laughs> Looks like Pete's having a good time. All right, it is a beautiful day. And we are in Stafford. There's my main man Toby, right there. He's getting all ready. And there's my main man, Pete, looking saucy and ready for business. Saucy. And uh, we're going to go out for a ride. And that's uh, one camera ready there. Another camera ready there. Grubby mirrors. Really grubby. We're filming. Marvellous. You filming? Okay, I'm filming. Oh, filming. Okay, I'm just going to toot my horn so I can sync all the cameras, okay? Tooting the horn. Oh, that's not the horn. Okay. As always, it's being a little bit temperamental. Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? We'll give it a moment. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? No. I can hear you. I'll turn it off and on again. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it. Get me off this damn gravel. Oh! Cool. I heard something there. Can you hear me? Volume, I can hear you. You cannot hear me. Right then. Oh. Up, up, and away. Okay, so off we go. And unfortunately I can't hear anything that guy ahead of me is saying. Which, oh, have Where I got you? Where are you, buddy? Have I got you? Can you hear me? No. Toby? Hello? I still can't hear you. Anyway, we're sure we saw that up. We're on the way to get some fuel. Pete's behind me, Toby's in front of me, the sun is out, it's 13 degrees and we're off on a little adventure and I'm feeling good, real good. Can you hear me now? He's not available. I got music instead, better pull jam. Oh, it's another GS. These comms, man, when they work, they work like a dream, but they're just not consistent or reliable, which is a very great shame. So, we're on the way to the Arboretum. That is the plan, and it's a fantastic day for it. None of us have been there before, so I'm looking forward to it. Look at that booty. You go, girl. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Pete was checking her out too. And it's just a real shame we can't talk to one another. What Blake doesn't know is that I can hear him clearly. I'm assuming Toby can hear everything I'm saying. <laughs> so it's a good thing I uh, <laughs> didn't say anything bad. <laughs> oh. Hopefully I got that right, the Arboretum. That's the one. Um, give me a nod if I said that yeah. right. Yeah, thank you, Toby. The good news is I can say what I like about this douchebag and he won't have a clue. <laughs> but this is fantastic. This is the first group ride for Team Mapped um, for some time. For me, at least. It's good for the soul. It's 14 and a half degrees. Can you absolutely believe? I can't, I can't believe that. 
14 and a half degrees and we're in the beginning half of uh, February. I'm getting moisty toasty. See, he's got his camera going, but he's got no mic. Got no mic, huh? So, I can hear <laughs> So he's filming everything, but you can't hear anything he's saying. No, he can hear me. I can hear you, but you can't hear me. No, he, he can hear me, <laughs> but I can't hear him for some reason. I'm sure we'll figure it out, but it's something, something's gone amiss there. Oh, this is fun. I do like to start a ride by, you know, warming the engine up by sitting in traffic for a bit. So, 9175 miles on the clock. I'm almost up to this first 10k on this bike. So Opening up some vents. Trying to make sure I don't miss that by just riding through it. That's what normally happens. If I can find them. 177 miles in the tank. Nope, I Let's can't. Let's do this shit. A little bit more stopping, a little bit more waiting. Sunny day. Off to the Memorial Arbory Term. Should be very pretty. Not been there before. <sighs> and with any luck, we'll be somewhere nearby to get a cup of coffee and a sandwich. If not, I have an emergency sandwich in my top box. Yay! Because I never like to be without food. Anytime. Anytime now. Anytime now would be good. Move along. Okay. Come on now. Let's go. Oh, oh! Here he comes to save the day! Poor Toby, I'm assuming you can still hear me, I'm just going up to rubbish. So as we're making our way out of stuff, and I'm going to talk about this camera right here. It's the Drift X and the new mount that I've got on the bars. I watched back the footage. Um, yeah, from yesterday, when uh, the ride up to Ponderosa. And I wasn't happy with the footage at all. It was uh, zoomed in way too much onto uh, my face. And uh, all you could see is the helmet and not a lot else. So I looked at a little bit more of the camera and I've widened the, uh, widened the field of view. Because it was actually on 90 degrees rather than its widest, which is 140 degrees, which is which is uh, uh, is what it's at right now. God, that was a struggle. So I'm hoping that wider field of view is going to be uh, better for this setup because I really like the camera there. So fingers crossed. It's quite exciting actually. I'm going somewhere I've never been before and I'm flying blind, as in not knowing where I'm going. But I can see the guys ahead of me, so it's all good. But uh, I, I always like going somewhere new. I'm going to ask uh, Pete to give you a bit of a a bit of a a vlog if you like on the on the importance of where we're going these are resident history but well, i'm astounded by this weather i really am i couldn't i don't think anyone would believe it would be 14 degrees in the beginning of february blue skies and there is an abundance of bikers out on the roads too it's fantastic now i can hear a little bit of static on my comms right now so i'm thinking it's trying to work i'm hoping we can sort it out at our destination Hello. I called Hello. and you said in your Toby. <laughs> I just called to say I love you. Yes. Yeah. I can see that you're really dancing. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, we can still we still have fun. Can't even us. Can't hear me, but he can see me. Okay, I'm going to get on to some slightly more, slightly faster roads, a little bit more fun. We've done the, the poodle, been warm and ready to rock. Nice green van is out. 
It's got to be the signs of spring. I'll tell you something else, my ass is just not used to riding. Yeah, that's right. That's a statement you could take home to the bank. <laughs> I need to get, uh, get used to the saddle. Oh, this is great, what a road. That's it, lead it in, lead it in. There we go. I also would like to point out at this point that you might notice, or might have noticed, that Pete is wearing a remarkably similar lid to mine. I may also like to point out it is an inferior brand and an absolute scandal of a copy, copycat of me. He could have gone with one with a cool graphic on it, but no, he decided to go white with a pearlescent finish on it. Not unlike mine. And for the record, I like to point out that I bought mine a whole year ahead of him. Yep, that's right. Before he gets a chance to say anything to the contrary. Honestly. Unbelievable. But seriously though, it's a nice helmet. <laughs> He's gone for, uh, I can't remember the actual uh, brand, uh, sorry, the model, it's, uh, the brand of it is the Scorpion, Scorpion open face um, helmet. Um, the actual model of it can be found, conveniently enough, on our kit list on our website, which can be found at www.mapdefa.co.uk. A shameless plug, I know. But this, I think, if I'm not uh, mistaken, this is his first proper ride uh, using the helmet. So, yeah, it's interesting to see how he'll get on with it. I'm using the uh, the Arai X4 Tour, and it is a great lid. Uh, I'm getting uh, used to it. I'm used to having the uh, Access 2 from Arai. And if I'm brutally honest, I actually find uh, that helmet, even though that's considered uh, more of a basic one in the in its in a rice lineup, uh, more comfortable so far than uh, the X4. I think uh, maybe because the X4 is still relatively new, because I've hardly worn it. So it, I think it will take a little while for, while for this one to break in. But I've been uh, wearing it for the last few rides, and um, it has come into its own. I just hope it gets as comfortable as uh, what the Access 2 is. Because uh, that's a really great lid. Here we go. There we go, it's all signs for the operator. That's cool. There she is, on Bruisley Power Station. Due for demolition in the not too distant future. Spectacle to see when it happens. Friendly bikers out today. It is the season. See, the bikers that are out this time of year tend to be a lot friendlier because you've got your posers aren't out yet. You know, their bikes are all still tucked up and their Power Ranger seats are still hung up in the garage. So, fewer posers, nicer riders. What can you say? So, I've gone with summer gloves today because. Uh, well, we were in, you know, we were in double figures with the temperature, so it feels entirely appropriate. But it is a little bit chilly, so heated grips are going on. And I don't care what anyone says, they're an essential. Absolute lifesaver in the winter. Dun, 
Dun, dun, dun. Ha, ha, this away. Ha, ha, that away. Ha, ha, this way. My, oh, my. Right eyes burning like fire. I'm super white. Thanks for asking. But don't you think I look cute in this hat? We didn't come here looking for trouble. We're just gonna do the Red Dwarf Shuffle. Peter's looking mighty fine on his stallion there. Majestic. <laughs> and uh, Toby, he's just looking damn sexy. As always. And it's just great riding with these guys again. Swan in. Looks like a classic boozer that does. Betty Boots Cafe in there. Beautiful out here. Some nice roads. Oh, what? Utterly beautiful. Oh, Jack, that classic. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Looks like Pete's having a good time. So, um, as we're coming in to our destination, I thought I'd uh, also mention, as we're here, and I've got something, nothing much to talk about, uh, my bike's going in for its uh, second year service next week. Um, so I'll be taking it back up to um, Nottingham, to Roy Fedcock, the good guys up there. And I'm uh, looking at replacing the tyres on the GS. I've got the Anarchy 3s at the moment and I, I'm looking at the uh, Michelin Torrents next. That's the tyre I was looking at more, most closely to put on the bike. However, um, one of the guys, that, uh, one of the, the mapped team on Facebook, as in one of our followers, have suggested uh, the Battle Axe uh, A41s, I want to say. Uh, as he has just put him on uh, his GS. So that's uh, thrown uh, another attire into the mix, which I, I hadn't considered before. So where I'm going with this is if you guys have any suggestions on uh, on tires, I should check out for the, the GS. Please let me know, I'm genuinely interested. Because the Anakin 3s have been great. But uh, my rear tyre is starting to square off and uh, I think if I'm going to change tyres now is as good as time as any. So yeah, please let me know. Yeah, I really hope this footage comes out okay on here. Please, to the vlogging gods, make this work. <laughs> oh man, we are blessed with this weather today. Not so blessed on the technology front. We've had a bit of a fail on all fronts, really. Pete's forgotten his jack, audio jack, for his camera. After I was telling him and lecturing him repeatedly last night. Charge your camera, wipe the memory card, get, make sure you're ready. He forgets the jack, it's just standard. And of course, uh, our comms have failed on us. What are you gonna do? I'm still gonna make this into a video, but uh, just a bit of a fail really. Got to roll with the punches I guess. Yeah, National Memorial of Arretum. Beautiful. Yeah, as I've said, none of us have ever been here before. And I'm very much looking forward to paying my respects and like, checking this out as it's meant to be a pretty spectacular.
Thank you. Here we go. So El motorcycle parking. I like to see. I know the guys all lining up, but it's hopefully going to be a good picture. There we go. Beautiful. Just looking at the map. <laughs> you here. This is the bit we're going to be checking out. So this is the main memorial wall. So this is with all of the names are on it. So Which is there. just there. Very excited. So Toby, it says I'm connected to you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm looking for love. Can you hear me now? Take the sweetest part of part of me. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so we just had a little wander around the uh, Memorial Arboretum. Checked out the wall and had a quick coffee and a sandwich just to in the contemplation and then we're gonna cruise our way back to Stafford. Roll them up. Okay, let's go. Where is out? I wanna get out. Absolutely fantastic. Very sobering, very moving. And uh, for me going to anywhere like this just makes me feel very humble and grateful for what I have and to try to process what so many people have sacrificed. It's incredible. Oh, I wish Blake could hear me, it's a real shame. I just have the one-way comms today. Real of a shame. So, as I said, we're on our way back to uh, Matt's Base Camp Stafford and uh, while having a, a coffee, after taking in the Arboretum, we had gave us a chance to have a bit of a catch up over the TT which will be coming very soon and we're all going again if you want to check out our adventures at the TT last year I'll put a put a little link up there so you can check them out we had a fantastic time and I was particularly proud of the, that series of videos so if you fancy seeing a bit of action from the TT last year yeah check that out but yeah we're going back um, and of course this time I'll be riding so I'm really excited about that. It's going to be fantastic. And we're going to try to do a lot more exploring of the island. Uh, now we've actually done it once uh, and you know, seen the main things. We want to uh, go down to the south of the island and you know, see a uh, side of the island that not many people do see. And that's uh, a bit of a goal for us this time around. And fingers crossed uh, we'll get the weather like we did last year because it was something special. Also something a little bit closer in regards to itinerary wise uh, we're going to do our very first tour of the year in the beginning of March now I made reference to this or may have made reference to this uh, in a previous video but uh, we are going into Wales for a two-day tour 
covering around 300 miles approximately and there'll be the three of us doing this tour which I'm really excited about and uh, the name of the game of this tour is to see as many castles as possible um, I took inspiration for this ride from uh, the Ride magazine Iron Ring tour but we've made a few amendments to it to make it our own and uh, we'll be bringing that to you at the beginning of March so yeah two days lots of castles lots of fun those two guys in front of me and me of course so yeah hope you enjoy that one because I certainly am looking forward to it I can't wait I've really enjoyed today you know <coughs> Uh, just uh, messing around the bikes with the mates. Such a simple thing, but it is always fun going out for a blast. The acrophobic exhaust on uh, Pete's bike sounds amazing. That's one of the add-ons uh, I'm quite keen to uh, get onto my next uh, my next bike. I'm watching you. <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> Alrighty. We're uh, pretty much uh, done with the day here though, sir. Um, yet again I'd like to thank you for watching. Really appreciate uh, you taking the time as always. <laughs> and uh, we'll be back again real soon bringing you more top-notch vlogging entertainment. And if you've liked what you've seen please subscribe. It always helps. Or indeed, oh, oh god you're going fast. Or indeed a thumbs up. That also helps. And uh, we'll see you soon. Until then, take care.